poetry and its definitions. In this unit, you will learn the basic considerations in the study of poetry. Poetry, as we have indicated in the foregoing unit, is considered the most ancient of the three major genres of literature. Accordingly, we have to begin by seeing it as a form of literary expression with all the defining qualities of literature such as imagination, creativity, suggestiveness or indirection as a mirror reflecting the individual perception of life experiences. Generally speaking, these qualities apply to both oral and written forms of poetry, but the medium of expression and transmission are markedly different. Nonetheless, both manifestations of poetry share identical content, form and effect. This is to say that, irrespective of the obvious difference between these forms of poetry, their sources and the end purpose are the emotions and imagination of the writer on one hand and the reader or audience on the other hand. They convey significant truths about the human condition and they employ a language that is deliberately adorned by the use of figurative expressions. This will become clearer to you by the time we define poetry by the way of setting it apart as a specific genre of literature. What is poetry? Since poetry means different things to different people, we shall not answer this question by providing a single definition until we have considered a good number of available definitions. The implication of this statement is that there is no one standard definition of poetry that can satisfy all possible shares of opinion, rather an aggregate definition that contains aspects of some popular views or definition representative of various critical approaches to literature might just be the most sensible way to take. These later views take cognizance of basic concepts and words such as compositions, words and their arrangement, expression, emotion, feeling, passion, perception, thought, rhythm, imagination. Definitions of poetry by different literary scholars. The following are well-known definitions of poetry which illustrate the varied view of this genre. Poetry is the language that tells us, through a more or less emotional reaction, something that cannot be said. All poetry, great or small, does this. Edwin Arlington Robinson I will define poetry of words as the rhythmical creation of beauty. Its sole arbiter is test. With the intellect or with the conscience it has only collateral relations. Unless incidentally, it has no concern whatever, either with duty or with truth. That is Edgar Allan Poe. Poetry is the imaginative expression of strong feeling, usually rhythmical. The spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in tranquility. William Wordsworth. The proper and immediate object of science is the acquirement or communication of truth. The proper and immediate object of poetry is the communication of pleasure. Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Poetry is the record of the best and happiest moments of the best and happiest minds. Percy B.C. Shelley. An actual poem is the succession of experiences, sound, images, thoughts, emotions through which we pass when we are reading as poetically as we can. Andrew Bradley. The rhythmic, inevitably narrative, movement from an overclouded blindness to a naked vision. Dylan Thomas. If I read a book and it makes my whole body so cold that no fire can overwhelm me. I know that it is poetry. If I feel physical, as if the top of my head were taken off, I know that is poetry. Emily Dickinson From the both definitions or explanation of what poetry is, it is clear that we have said earlier on that there cannot be a single definition that will be comprehensive enough to accommodate the various shades of opinion and school of thought 
regarding the exact nature of the genre. Finally, we may attempt a definition that strives to distill the various elements of the explanations we have made so far as follows. Poetry is a form of composition in verse form, especially one expressing deep feelings or noble thought in a rhythmic and generally beautiful or embellished language written with the aim of communicating experience. This definition contains the grains of the essential elements of the genre of poetry, that is imagery, rhythm, sound, and diction, to which we will turn our attention in the next unit of this course material. Stay tuned. It has manifested in most human ritual activities, as well as served as a ready means of entertainment in traditional festival. Yet, in spite of its long history and perennial occurrence and employment in important human activities, it has defied common definition because it seems to strike different people differently. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this video, please kindly subscribe to this channel and do not fail to share this content with your friends out there. See you in the next unit.